So if you have, um, this actually example is going to be a, a Ruby test. Uh, and, this, and the simplest example is, again, kind of showing the IP address and the, the browser string that you would launch. Again, this is kind of a very simple test that would just go to saucelabs.com and just make sure that the page is, is there. Um, so again, this is kind of a pre-recorded movie. I'm just going to walk through it. So if I run this now, um, it's running behind the scenes. Uh, Ruby is running it locally on my computer. But if I go to saucelabs.com, you actually can watch the test running live. Uh, we've got an in-browser VNC viewer. Um, that you actually, while a test is running, uh, what's happening now is it's connecting to our cloud machine. And you can actually watch it live. Um, so that's, that's, half, that's half of the story. The other half is that um, we do kind of re do reports as far as what, what we have. Uh, we do have log files and uh, create screenshots. And uh, we also create a video of the test as it running is on our infrastructure. So here's, a, you know, here's the results of the test. That was a screenshot. And then also you can watch the video um, of that test running on our cloud. From this point of view, you can download these screenshots or the video, uh, also integrate it with any, uh, any continuous integration system. Um, so from our point of view, the reports that we generate are usually you know, a lot of screenshots, log files, and video that you can integrate with other things. Um, but if you wanted to kind of get even more detail, it'd be good to um, you know, combine it with JUnit and cruise control, things like that. 